it's April, and April is a very, very busy month and opens with Mercury going retrograde. How about that for an April Fool's Day, huh? And Mercury's going to be retrograde all month until the 25th. And of course, you all know on the 8th is the big solar eclipse that's going to cut across the United States, and it's in Aries. Okay, and eclipses bring changes. There's a controversy over how long the influence lasts. You have to observe it in yourself. And also in April, Mars is going to be making a connection with Saturn. Saturn and Mars are the two malefics of the zodiac. So when they get together, it's not a fun thing. And the other big thing here is Jupiter is going to conjunct Uranus. Now that's a 14 year cycle. Now, Jupiter brings a lot of things, you know, a lot of abundance. He's like the big jovial uncle who brings pizza and beer and you got enough to eat and boogie with, okay? Uranus is the Mr. Surprise. When Uranus is around, if you can think of it, that's not it. Because Uranus is the big boat out of the blue. So, also at the end of the month, Mars, the malefic, is going to conjunct Neptune in Pisces. So this could be more like explosive type of things. I mean, it's really crazy, so just hang on to your hat. I mean, it's like, I mean, what is it with the bridges, okay? That's just an idea of what, you know, wherever you go, some kind of crap is going to happen, okay? So Aries, okay, lots of energy for you because the, the eclipse is right on you. Um, it's you and how you think and how you, um, you're going to be digging deep into some kind of conversation with some people and you're going to be digging deep within yourself and be ready for that eclipse. I mean, it's not, eclipse is not necessarily bad. It just brings change and it may change your focus. Okay. Taurus, the hidden emerges and the hidden here, it may have to do with relationships. Something in a relationship, it could be the kissy huggy kind or just any kind of relationship, something hidden is going to surface and it's going to have to be addressed. Gemini, this is a big time for you to network. And the emphasis is that on your networking, your work and your daily routine. I see you as being really busy here daily and carrying on a lot of conversations, which is like second nature to you. Cancer. This month is, uh, emphasizes your image, um, the dire your direction in life, but in your know, like career and things like that. But also, it doesn't preclude you from having fun and playing. Play, play, play. Leo. Oh, far away. You know, you go from far away to close to home. Far away, close to home. I mean, you may be taking a trip to Maine, or you may be taking a trip down south. But you turn around, you want to be home. Your thinking is that way. You're thinking in your usual ruts, and then you're kind of thinking in new, new avenues are being explored. Just keep going there. Virgo. Okay, you're another one. A lot of secret stuff this month, honestly, for everybody. The secret stuff, it comes out, and a lot of conversations involving that secret stuff. What do you share in common with other people in your life? And you'll maybe find out that you thought you had a lot in common, but you really don't. What are you gonna do? Libra, you're another one with um, people and relationships. The people in your life, do they share your ideals? This is gonna be a, an issue with you. I mean, because you have high ideals and you like to live by those ideals, and maybe someone thinks differently than you. Okay, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What makes you feel good, Scorpio? That's what's happening here. You can be very passionate, you can be very intense, but you can also be very, very sensitive. People forget that about Scorpio. Do what you makes you feel good, and if somebody makes you feel bad, oh, just walk away from it. Sagittarius, okay. You're, another one, hidden self is revealed, oh boy. Sag, you're usually an open book. So something is surfacing within you that is you hadn't noticed before, or you, you know, you're going to have to deal with that. Now that eclipse in Aries is a fire sign, so it's kind of like in a good aspect to you. So this may help you to figure out where you are and what you're doing, okay? Capricorn, okay, you're making new connections and forging new paths in your life. You're very, very serious most of the time, and that's okay, there's nothing wrong with being serious, but. Yeah, I think you're making more connections and people are going to open you up to new ideas and new ways of being. 
Aquarius, okay, Aquarius, you're gonna put your best foot forward. Well, you're gonna look good, you know, even if you don't feel good, you're gonna look good. And you are also gonna be busy, busy, busy around town, around the neighborhood, and having lots of, lots of conversations with people that interest you. Pisces, okay. Oh, Pisces, you're in the deep, deep thought. You're seeing the big picture. You're asking the big philosophical questions. It's nothing on the surface with you during this period. It's always deep, deep stuff. So anyway, that's the end of April for you. So, hey, hang on to your hat. Start, two, one, boost ignition, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery, returning to the Space Station, taking the way from